Another top executive at Good Samaritan Hospital is gone. The latest to leave is the Director of Nursing for Women's Services, a unit that's been the target of many of the staffing and patient care complaints at Good Sam. Let's bring in our investigative reporter, Candace Wynn, who's been really leading our coverage on this hospital. Candace. Yeah, Raj, I spoke with Stephanie Sonico over the phone today. She says she was let go just this afternoon. She was very upset and says she did not see this coming, although she did acknowledge complaints against her and her department. This is a picture here of Sonico from her LinkedIn profile. She's been the director of nurses for women's services at Good Sam for 22 months. Our investigative unit has been uncovering issues within her unit since since June, when a South Bay OBGYN group, Los Olivos, stopped sending their pregnant patients to the hospital for deliveries and surgeries, citing staffing and other patient care concerns. Then in July, federal health regulators put Good Sam's Medicare contract on notice, saying hospital leaders failed to ensure nursing services were provided to meet the needs of patients. Sonico's departure comes after two other top executives already left Good Sam within the past few weeks. The chief medical officer here to your left and the associate chief nursing officer to the right there. Now, this is what Sonico told me over the phone. She said, I am in shock. I don't know why I was let go, but I don't have anything bad to say. I'm very proud of my work at Good Sam, of my team and the hospital. There are good people at Good Sam. I'm proud of everybody and I will miss them. Good Samaritan Hospital sent us a statement today saying their policy is not to discuss personnel matters publicly. Good Sam holds all of their staff to the highest standards to ensure they can continue their 25 year track record of providing high quality care and patient experience. Now in August, the California Nurses Association Association said Good Sam agreed to recruit 80 nurses and create 43 new nursing positions to address those staffing shortfalls. In regards to its notice of contract termination with Medicare, Good Sam says it's made progress with regulators and expects to receive a formal report shortly. With the investigative unit, I'm Candace Wen. All right, thank you very much.